Where do you think you're going, human? It's the middle of the night. Do you have somewhere to be? Doubtful. Perhaps you were looking to, well, do that thing you humans do. We dragons never have to worry about such matters. Or perhaps you were trying to escape while I'm sleeping. Yes. Yes, I think that far more likely. I couldn't believe my eyes when I woke up and saw you sneaking away. At first, when I heard your scuttling, I thought it was a mouse. But no. No, just vermin of another kind. Still, couldn't escape my claw, could you? Pinning you back. Not as easy to escape as you thought, is it? I'm not saying humans are vermin. I'm saying traitors are. And that's what you are, you tiny little thing. A traitor. I mean, really. I spare your life after you pulled that damned black arrow out, and this is how you repay me? So ungrateful. Yes. I know I said I would release you in exchange for your aid, but I need to remind you, I never said when, did I? It could be today, it could be six months from now for all I care, but it's my decision, not yours. You invaded my cave, after all. I have every right to treat you how I want, thief. And honestly, have I not treated you far better than you deserve? I think I've been exceptionally kind, letting you stay. What's more, letting you rest with me. And I haven't mishandled you in any way, have I? Why, I've heard stories about how other creatures treat the humans they take on as pets. Giants. Succubi, vampires, and how a lot of their pets never last more than a couple of days. You've been with me for a week now. Surely that's a sign that I'm far more careful than they, no? A sign that, really, you might be better off staying here. I mean, what's the appeal of the outside world anyway? Mortals fight amongst themselves. They kill one another. There's plague, famine, lots of horrible stuff. I don't know how any of your kind stands it, honestly. It must be such a source of stress. Meanwhile, here we are in this lovely little cave. Well, little by my standards. Where the only thing we have to worry about is which pile of gold we want to sleep on. I know you are an adventurer, my little darling. You have a call to adventure within you that just won't be quiet. But please, tell it to shut up. After all, you must have traveled far to get here. Perhaps being trapped in this cave was your reward. I mean, why would you ever want to leave? Oh. Oh, you're hungry. I'm so sorry, my little pet. I completely forgot to take human metabolism into account. You're absolutely right. There's very little in this cave that would be edible for a human. Silly, stupid, foolish me. I really wish you'd said something, human. How have you been coping? Ah, the rations in your backpack. You were planning on restocking at the next village in your journey, I take it? Yes, you must have run out by now. A thousand apologies, human. I will seek to make amends as swiftly as possible. Tell me, what is it you like? What delicacies have you been craving? Well, it might be difficult, but I'll see what I can do. Oh, it's no bother. No bother whatsoever. Nothing is too troublesome for you. After all, you have been a great source of... Well, you've been very nice to be around these last few days. And if getting you some food to devour helps to show you that I truly do care about you. Then that is that. Of course I'm not going to take you with me. No, 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 of course not. I would give you ample opportunity to escape. No, 
Instead, I think I'll lock you in this little cage here. Part of my hoard, designed to lock up princesses by the previous owner. I've never been much of a fan of royalty, too rich for my tastes, but I can see the appeal. Now, all I need to do is grab you and... Hey. Hey, where are you? Stop moving. I... There. I'm sorry for handling you in such a fashion, but... And do your K2 go, little one. Sorry for the discomfort, but I doubt you were going to get in willingly, were you? Maybe in the future I'll take you out with me, but for now, I simply can't trust you not to run away. And I know for a fact that you're not carrying any lockpicks or anything on you. <laughs> I've checked, after all. Now, I shouldn't be too long. I've not healed completely with dragon slaying arrows. I'll probably never heal entirely. But I'm more than strong enough to make a quick supply run. Don't worry, human. I'll be back soon. Human, I'm back. Ah, there you are. Right where I left you. Good pet. Not like you had much of a choice. <laughs> I hope you weren't too lonely while I was gone. I certainly wouldn't want you to feel I've been neglectant in my duties, little one. I paid a visit to the village just a few miles up the path. Lovely little place. Certainly wasn't expecting my arrival, I can tell you that. No, I didn't kill anyone. I performed my little dragon heist quite quickly. The town guard barely had time to respond by the time I was done. See, what happened was I landed by the nearest farm, grabbed a couple of those... those carrier things the farmers use. I've... I've known what they were called, actually... Perhaps you... <gasps> Wheelbarrows, thank you. Yes, I grabbed a couple of those and started scooping crops into them. There's all sorts here, so I hope you don't mind vegetables. There's potatoes, leeks, carrots, cabbage. The village had it all, really. So you're practically spoiled for choice. Obviously, given my demonic nature, I wasn't able to get you anything more. Exotic. But I hope this should suffice. Your opinion really does matter to me, little one. I just want you to be happy. I know that's difficult given our circumstances, both at our initial meeting and our present situation. But now that I've shown you that I'm willing to go out of my way to look after you, to meet your needs, perhaps you'll think again about leaving in the middle of the night. Now go on. Take a bite out of these vegetables. I want to see what all the fuss is about. No, I've never tried them myself. Hardly filling for any beast of my size and diet. Though, I must say, that village certainly knows what it's doing. I've never seen cabbages so lush and ripe. I suspect they use magic in their growth, making their produce last far longer than it would normally. So, hopefully, it should be a while before I need to go on another supply mission for you. That is, of course, unless you want anything else. Something to pass the time, maybe? I know, I've been enjoying your company, but... Hopefully you'll start to enjoy mine, but I don't want you to be bored, my little darling. Anything you want. Name it, and I'll go get it. Not right now. I'm exhausted, darling. 
You did wake me in the middle of my rest, of course. And unlike humans, we dragons need a little longer than a six-hour snooze to get our beauty sleep. Come here. Come to my claws. I'll protect you while we rest together. And my dragon flesh will keep you warm. There. Are you comfy? Good. You're going to be nice and snug, my little friend. I know you might think I don't care about you. That I see you as a diversion. A distraction. But I do. I promise that I do. Perhaps tomorrow. You'll see that. Good night, little one. I'll see you in the morning.